Here's Dennis Bune, a proud owner of six T6 airplanes, to talk about one of his planes and also to talk about what it's like to fly the plane on the course here at Reno. And you are the proud owner of a six pack of T6s that are out here at PRS. Yes, I am. And this particular airplane is a 1942 AT6 Texan. It was built in uh, North American of Dallas, Texas. And uh, actually it uh, uh, flew with a number of air forces. If you look at the side of the airplane, it was originally with the Army Air Corps in World War II. We sent it to England, it flew into the United Kingdom, who in turn sent it down to South Africa. She was in the South African Air Force training pilots. After World War II, the U.S. gave it to Paraguay. And they flew it till about 1990, and she returned to the United States and uh, became a, a civil registered AT6. Uh, we had a little guy land here, and he tripped, and wow, we got a little track record on Sky Flyer. He's our little friend. He goes around the pylons with us, and we parked him up here at the top. So he's got his head out, and he's looking for traffic. Uh, the AT6 Texan is a stock class, so we have to basically keep the same profile, the airframe, the wingspan. There are a number of changes, like it being very slick. We've stripped out a lot of the equipment, the bomb racks and the gun emplacements. And of course, we've flushed in all the screws. The engine itself, like you said, is Pratt & Whitney's original design from 1920s. It was the engine in the Ford Tri-Motor and the Boeing biplanes the Navy had. We, uh, we have to stay at the height of the pylon can at the top. That that's our, uh, our uh, goal, and uh, we fly at approximately 75 feet. You're out of ground effect, but there's some bugs there. Thanks, Dennis. The T6 races are one of the most competitive, as the guidelines for the airframe and engine are very consistent, so the planes fly a very tight race every time. 